हेलो चिल्ड्रन आई एम सुनंदनी चिगम स्कूल असिस्टेंट बायो साइंस इन जी एच एस बुरगम पार्ट इन फिफ्थ चैप्टर कोऑर्डिनेशन सिस्टम लेट इज डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ नर्व सेल टूडे कोऑर्डिनेशन सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ब्रेन स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड नर्व्स एराइजिंग फ्रॉम द brain and spinal cord and nerve cells or neurons are the structural and functional units of nervous system let us see parts of the nerve cell or neuron each nerve cell consists of cell body with prominent nucleus these are nissels granules in the cell body there are fine projections mainly of two types extending from the cell body of the nerve cell the small projections are dendrites while a long one that extends to different parts of our body is called axon the axon is surrounded by a specialized insulatory sheath called myelin sheath this sheath is interrupted at regular intervals called nodes of ranvier the myelin sheath is made up of schwann cells and chiefly consists of fatty material these are schwann cells axons not having the sheath are non myelinated fibers the covering also forms a partition between adjacent axons the nerve cell body lies in our brain this part lies in our brain or spinal cord and very close to the spinal cord those near spinal cord are called dorsal or ventral root ganglion in the brain or spinal cord it is difficult to make out the difference between dendrites and axons on the basis of their length the presence of myelin sheath helps us to find out the difference and uh, as i have already told the nerve cell is a structural and functional unit of nervous system our nervous system consists of more than 100 billion of the neurons which communicate with each other in a specific manner dendrites of one nerve cell connected to the axons of the other nerve cell through connections called as a synapse so these are synapse synapse is a functional region of contact between two neurons where information from one neuron is transmitted or relayed to another neuron so these are regions of minute gaps and essentially neurons do not have any protoplasmic connection between them yet information is passed from one nerve cell to the other through these gaps either in the form of chemical or electrical signals or both these synapses are mainly found usually in the brain spinal cord and around the spinal cord beyond these areas the axons carries the signals to respective areas in our body so children let us watch the video showing the detailed structure of neuron coordination system consists of brain spinal cord and nerves arising from brain and spinal cord neurons are the 
structural and functional units of nervous systems. They carry information in the form of electric signals called the nerve impulses uh, in our brain and spinal cord. The main parts of the neuron are the cell body, the dendrites, axon and axon terminals. The cell body consists of cell body that is and it consists of cytoplasm nucleus. Several dendrites arises from the cell body. These are the dendrites and they take information from the receptors or other neurons and carry information towards the cell body and this lengthy part is the axon axon carry information from cell body to other neurons they are covered with myelin sheets there are gaps in the myelin sheath and these are known as nodes of Ranvier. Axon carries the nerve impulses in the form of electric signals. The endings of the axons are known as axon terminals or terminal buttons. The axon terminals of adjacent neurons form synapses and synapses is the place where nerve impulse is transmitted from one neuron to the other neuron. Bundles of uh, neurons form the nerves and the nerves clusters uh, form the gang. So children, many nerve cells together form the nerves and clusters of nerves together form the ganglion. The important questions that may come from this topic are what is synapse? Draw the structure of nerve cell. You have to learn the parts also. Describe the structure of neuron. Now, prepare well for exams.